If you've ever watched even a single video from my channel, you probably know that I'm disabled because of PTSD. With that PTSD comes an acute panic disorder that gets pretty gnarly sometimes. And all of this stems from an incident which took place when I was 19. But even before that, honestly, as long as I can remember, I had social anxiety as well. Social anxiety is defined as a chronic mental health condition in which social interactions cause irrational anxiety. It's pretty straightforward. Symptoms include, but are not limited to, shaking, cold sweats, stuttering, nausea, rapid heartbeat, etc, etc, etc. Now, when my PTSD became a thing, I had profound levels of anxiety from pretty much everything, or nothing, depending on how you want to look at it. The levels of anxiety I deal with sometimes from absolutely no discernible trigger at all are, in a word, extreme. You might be able to imagine that when this becomes your life, social anxiety kind of gets the volume turned down a bit. It's harder for social situations on their own to trigger me now because triggered is my default state. But I still have some issues even today with social interaction and I want to share with you all how I condition myself to deal with them. There are three parts to this trick, and the first part is to figure out something you'd like to talk about and write out a short script. It can be anything you want to be, from casual conversation to how you'd marinate a steak. Maybe you have a presentation for work or school coming up. Just write it from the perspective of someone who's going to be reading it to other people. Part two is a new idea that I really can't take all the credit for. I was watching a channel called Abroad in Japan, which I'll link down below. And the host, Chris Broad, stated that he had a bit of social anxiety as well, and people were asking him something to the effect of, how do you make YouTube videos talking to people when you have this issue? To which he made the point that I'll be making whenever someone asks me the same thing from now on. I'm not talking to people. I'm talking to a camera. As I'm recording this, there's no one else here. I personally get a bit anxious about recording even if my wife is around, which is a problem when you live in a one-bedroom apartment and are trying to make a habit out of YouTube. So that's part two. Set up your phone or anything with a video camera on it and read that script aloud while recording. Don't think about whether or not anyone else will ever see it. That's for you to decide later on. You can upload it to YouTube next week or you can delete it as soon as you're done. The choice is entirely yours. Helping myself out with my lingering social anxiety is actually one of the reasons why I have a YouTube channel in the first place. Part three involves pictures. This used to be the entire trick when I was growing up. I first came up with this idea when I was in 8th grade, and originally I would just rehearse my script to pictures. Don't worry, it's only a bad thing if they start talking back to you. But set up some photos, either actual physical ones or anything you can find online if you have a TV or a computer screen handy, and start reading your script to the camera with them around. You're basically creating a fake audience for yourself. I'm going to grossly oversimplify this here, but there are two sides to the anxious mind. There is the rational side and the irrational. The irrational side should be pretty freaked out by this, but your rational mind knows that you're in a safe environment, that you're in control. That camera is as safe as you want it to be, and those pictures aren't exactly going to care what you say or do, now are they? And it's alright to still be anxious when you do this. The entire point of the exercise is to repeatedly acclimate you to the experience in a safe, judgment-free setting. At some point you might even feel comfortable enough to expand outwards a bit and try reading your script to a friend. And if you get to the point where you can do that, then doing this video is worth it to me. And that's it. Write a fake script, read it to the camera with a fake audience around. It's simple, and while there's no trick that works for everyone, it can be very effective for some people if you keep at it. So thanks for watching my video. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and tune in next time.